The third degree. I want to know. I have a right to know. No, you want to know. Well, I want There's to know. Because, oh. I don't have to tell you squat. Ah, oh, so much for being this a guy. Easy, you know. You're a ghost. Fine. I'm a medium. Fine. My whole life has turned upside down. Fine. Wait, where's the but fine? But you in could that? at least meet me halfway. You've accepted it, you say. So far, yeah. yes. You've only seen a taste of it. Are you ready to go all the way? Oh. What do you mean? Ready to see what's out there. Ready to see what this is all about. Uh, okay? Yes. Good. Maybe there's hope after all. So what is it? Yeah. I don't have to tell you. It's best if I show you. Well, don't take your pants off. Oh, oh thank goodness. Here, it's just a tie. take a hold of this. I can touch it? Yeah, the only part of me you can touch. Even unfortunately. if we did get that it sexy. It kind of tingles. Mm. What is it? The stuff of life. Or death. I've never quite worked it out. What now? Now pull. you pull. Pull the tie? Yeah, pull. Okay. Ah! Ghost attack! What the? Uh... Let's swear. Oh my god. Relax. That, take your time. That's not really swearing. It's a lot to take in at once. What is this place? It's the doorway to infinity, darling. Out there, in the distance, the next world. It's the next plane of existence. Not really the impressive. The gossamer threads that separate this world from the next. Whatever you want to call it. It's all out there. How yeah. did we get here? We're inside your head. You mean... But I'm dreaming? So I'm no, inside I my mean, own head. We're literally inside your head. Remember those headaches you had yesterday? So it's yeah. Kind of like that a was your power awakening. Or to be more specific, it was this now. place forcing its way into your mind. Oh, that doesn't sound right. Is my head okay? There's a hole in my head? <laughs> sort of. I'm not sure I like this. Well, like There's it or not. There's a hole in your head, here. dear so Henry. So what does this place Henry. actually do? It's sort of a transfer point or node. It connects the mortal world with the next. You bring spirits into this place, and then send them on their merry way. That's it? Well, mm. there's a, a bit more to it than that. I thought as much. You see, many ghosts aren't as lucid as myself. Ah, Most can yes. barely tell you their own names, let alone tell you what's wrong. Near as I can figure, they have to come to terms with their... departure. Before they can actually depart. So you have so to far? help them. Yeah. I do. I think so. The ghosts don't know they're dead. Pretty much. Yeah, yeah, right. So, we have to help them accept it. Once they accept their death, they are much more willing to move on. <laughs> That's my job, see? I talk to the spooks. They trust me more because I'm one of them. You do the legwork. See? Anyway, I know you have some questions about this place, so go ahead and ask them. Hmm. Um, I'm gonna ask you about the park. What about the ghost in the park? The one from last night. She... Why didn't we bring her here? Sort of First of all, dead. I didn't think you were ready. And secondly, that ghost was too lost and confused. When mm. a ghost is like that, I can't just force the tie into their hands. It won't work, don't ask me why. Mm. They have to know they're dead first. Well, Your she... aunt called it, uh, being spiritually ready. She kinda knows, she kinda guesses, she, she knows something's wrong. I don't know if she knows that she's quite dead as per se. What about you? Can you go through that hole and move on? I wish, darling. You. But I can't. I've tried before, but it just spits me back out. I'm stuck here, mm. whether I like it or not. The white hole does not expect you to be in there. You're wearing your tie again. Yeah. How did that happen? Not sure. Here is your aunt and me figured. The tie is just an extension of whatever power brought us here. It's not a real physical tie. No more mm. than I am a real physical person. But no, that makes no up. sense. Look, just accept it, dollface. Forget logic. Mm. For you, logic went out the window the day I appeared in your bedroom. Well, it wasn't there ain't no instruction my bedroom, manual for this. Your aunt and me just thinking. figured it out as we went along. Hmm. Are you okay, Joey? Yeah, yeah I'm dandy. Oh. You don't look all right. Uh, it's just this place. What about I this don't place? like it. Oh. Probably because I don't belong. And it's not Maybe someday, pretty. but not now. Hmm. I think I've learned enough. Let's you get sure? out of here. Yeah. All right. Let's get out of here. Yay!
Welcome back. Guess what? You Take get it to easy. look forward it's to It's a little disorientating. I'm fine. So what now? Go back to the park and bring her to that place? Kind of. You got it. And how do we do that? Well... There are three steps. First, we have to find out more about her. Second, yeah. we use that information to get through to her, convince her that she's dead. And three, help her move on. It's a three-step process. But hey, guess what? You get to look forward to collapsing on the ground every second day, I guess, for the rest of your life. Or, you know, as many ghosts as you find. How do we find out more about her? Yeah. She could be anybody. Well... Not necessarily. That picture you got, the one of the three girls? That blonde girl is either the ghost in the park or her twin sister. Yeah, that was lucky. That's convenient. Exactly. Don't look so surprised, darling. This type of thing will happen more often than you think. Yep. Yeah. Okay. The blonde girl is dead. Yeah. Looks like it. And this other girl, Joanne. She's dead, too. Yep. And What's the monkey. Going on? It's dead, too. That, my dear, is our bread and butter. What else can- The photo, dear, it's the- Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. How do we convince ghosts that they are actually dead? That's the tricky part. What? Near as I can figure, we need to remind the ghosts who they are. Their death was too traumatic, or too violent, or too emotional that their little spirit minds snapped. Oh. So we need to do whatever we can to bring them back to themselves. And how do we do that? Usually by finding something that has a personal significance to them. Could be an object, a piece of information, or even another person. So we need to know more about the ghost in the park. You're a writer, yeah? yeah? Think of this as the ultimate character study. And think about the great book that you'll be writing at the end of this. How do we help a ghost move on? Just like With my magic mind. tie, dear. I give one end to the spook, the other end to you. You pull the ghost in, and you send them on their way. You don't come in with me? No. no sorry. That's your job. Yeah, he can't do everything. I think I've heard enough. Yeah, let's get going. Now, before we do that, we actually have to Joey, ask him something else. Joey, come here a sec. Yes, darling? Oh, yeah, yeah. Now, we're gonna ask you about you. And, um, about your ghostly powers. So what can you actually do? Yeah. Do? As a ghost. Any powers? Or anything like that? Mm. What you see is what you get, dear. I can float through walls as long as I'm still near you. But you can't touch anything? Yeah. Not really. Show Not us your really? magic power. Well, you remember that breeze you felt when I manifested myself last night? Oh, yeah? Yeah. That's the extent of my physical presence. Oh, sexy. Blow for me. I'm... <coughs> oh, Neat trick, nice. huh? Yes, Not yes. really. Everyone's oh. a critic. Uh, I think it would be extremely helpful. Ask Joey to stop moving. Can't you stay still? Huh? The way you float all around the room like that. You're making me dizzy. <laughs> You sound like my mother. You're really? just gonna have to get used to it, babe. Okay, I'm gonna ask you to leave. Can't you ever leave? Leave? What do you mean, leave? But leave! Get out of my apartment. Go somewhere else. What, don't you like me? It's not that. It's just, well, what about privacy? What do I need to I'll go to the I'll turn toilet? my back when you're in the shower, don't worry. But and what toilet. about personal space? I'm a ghost. It's not like I take up any space. You know what I mean. I need time alone. You know, Sorry, darling, no can do. <clears throat> I told you, I can't travel far from my... hosts. I can go maybe 30 feet before something stops me. Okay, that so you, you could be outside the wall That's while so I uh, go to the bathroom. After 25 years watching your aunt drool, this is like staying at the Ritz. Huh, charming. How did you die? Yeah. Excuse me? Well, How did I die? Yeah. Yeah. That's a bit of a personal question, isn't it? Well, is it? We're gonna be yes. Okay! Sorry. Tetchy! Um, you I know think what? I've heard enough. Yeah, we're yeah let's get going. Now. Oh, let's head out. Okay. You know where- You coming? Come yeah, on. sure. You know where our first protocol is actually gonna be? We're gonna go to the medical center. The most exciting place ever! Oh. <sighs> Man, I hate this place. Yep. I was stuck here for 25 years. Yep. Why'd you have to drag me back here, huh? Oh, gee, I don't know. I, I think I might need to see my doctor. That, that's all. Hey, Gotti. I'd like to see Quentin, please. I'm here to see Dr. Quentin. Sure thing, you're cleared. Sure thing. Go right in. Thanks. I didn't know we were from Joyzy. Ooh, the fashion model. Come in. 
Who's also Dr. the Quinty? captain from... Oh, hello. From, Come uh, in. Come in. Sequest DSV. Look at him. Oh, so beautiful. Did my aunt and grandmother ever say anything specific about Joey? Yeah. No. Why? Have you learned anything? Uh, uh no, no, no. I was no. just wondering. Why oh, would I have learned real anything? subtle. And, uh... I gotta tell you something, Doc. There's a ghost behind me. Dr. Quinton? I've got something to tell you. Oh, I love hmm? this line. Yes? It's what? about Joey. Oh. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. Don't you dare. Oh, yeah, yeah, we dare. Darling, you seem like a sweet kid. Don't ruin everything this early in the game. Well, it's I... not really early in the game, is hey, it? Hey, <laughs> whatever you think you're doing, stop right now. But... You say one word to this quack about me and the jig is up. He... he... Are you listening? I've just spent 25 years in this dump. I'm not gassed up to do it again, you dig? Well, you can go away then. You want to be locked up in a padded cell with me for company? Oh, why not? Because that's what'll happen. Oh. And I'll make sure your life is a living hell. Um, Ooh. think about it. Oh. Yes, Miss Blackwell? <laughs> Never mind. Good girl. Oh. Keep your yap shut and we'll get on just fine. Think about it. Uh, tell me about... You know, I've got some headaches. Do you know anything about headaches? It's hardly my specialty, but I know enough. Why? I've been getting them. Yeah. Lots of them. Yeah. In your case, I'd say they were triggered by stress. Okay. Are they usually this bad? It varies. Over-the-counter pain medication, rest, that's all I'd suggest. Thanks. Okay. Thanks, Dr. Quinton. I guess I'll head out. Very well. Goodbye, Miss Blackwell. But, um... I think we'll cut the episode here, and um, we'll see you next time for some more Blackwell Legacy. Think about it. Oh yeah.